Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and another video on course play. So we now have version 7.0.0.25 which includes custom fields. So I was going to have a quick look at how you create those. Um, so to do it you need the mini HUD up. Um, if you have trouble bringing that up then you should go in to settings uh, and then you want to make sure that you have where is it the gamepad friendly hud deactivated um that is the first mini gui it's not really a hud that we had um for course play in fs22 you want to deactivate that so that you get this guy and then we are on no man's land obviously classic map for creating custom fields and uh, we're just going to get stuck into it so my first tip is don't do a lot so I've got a plow on here because we can use the plow to create fields don't unfold the plow and do a lap the boundary that you create will be the very edge of the field um, so you will then need to be in slightly to plow it in so let's just uh so it's uh, it's right click right mouse click to get this up unless you disable it and then you can bind a key in the menu um, and then to record a custom field path you hit the little dot or record button um, and you will see the very familiar uh, icon and dot appear from FS19 and then we just go and drive ourselves a field and we'll drive a fairly simple small field just so that we can see this in action and then if we just uh, hit the dot again to stop recording we will have recorded a course play field 1 so it's they're automatically named um, and then if you go in to the map you can see there is our custom field and actually we need to buy ourselves some land while we're here so because we're spanning the two bits of land that are next to each other um, so then if you uh first thing we'll cover if you wanted to delete that uh, if you click on where it says course play one you can then delete your custom field and it's gone uh, so we'll just record something again uh, so the other thing to mention is that if you create a custom field on a map and then start another save on that map you'll pull through the same custom fields uh, they're saved related to the map not the save game So we just did the same thing and pull around and stop recording and we've got our course play field one back in the menu and then if we want to create that field we can go across to course play field work um, and we can now cover another feature so you see we now have two targets um, the first one is where you want the vehicle to drive to before it engages course play and then the second one is where you want the course play course to start uh, so the worker will drive to here and then go off to the start point if you select first point so we will now click on open close course generator and we'll create ourselves a simple plowing course so we're going to go smooth turns two headlands um, not going to bypass we're going to start working on the headlands although that's not completely realistic it will do perfectly for creating our field and then if we close that and we'll close up the map as well and then if we uh, F1 and allow create fields because we need to create the field and then we're just going to drive over to the start point and then right click to bring up the cursor and not that we are going to change from nearest waypoint to first waypoint and we'll hit go we can close that up and course play will now happily create us our field and if we turn on all waypoints you can see that we are now let's close that up just drawing out our field basically with the plow I keep right clicking on there which is slightly annoying um, I normally turn off the right click HUD with course play now if we open up the menu you will see 
I bring up the soil texture, you'll see that our plow is perfectly running along the edge of our field boundary that we created. And that's pretty much it for the uh, new custom fields mode. Course plate is rapidly developing to be very much like it was for FS19. We now have the HUD at the bottom. Uh, we can use that HUD. So if you want to get into course generation, if you click down here where it says the course name, it will jump you to the map and you can uh, you could then create your course. We've got, uh, we can stop and start workers from the mini HUD. We can play around with the implement width and we can create fields. So we are getting there. It's uh, really impressive how these guys are pushing forward the development of this so quickly. Uh, and we now have a way to create custom fields. Now you may be thinking, but what about somewhere like Erlengrat, where you've got the grass fields, which don't have field numbers. But of course, they've really got you covered on that. I'll stick a picture up. Um, although they don't have numbers because they're defined as field by giants, they're picked up as fields um, so if you're playing on Erlengrat you don't need to worry if you're playing on Calmston maybe and you found a little meadow that looks like it's a forest on the map you would need to create a course for that and then if you wanted you could plow that in and reseed it as something else or with grass or you could use that course boundary to do your grass work yeah really cool feature so uh, hope you found this useful uh, if you did and you're not already click subscribe Turn on notifications, hit the like button, and uh, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next time.